Kelly, thank you. Sean Spicer is the Republican National Committee's communications director and joins us this morning. Sean, good morning. Good morning, Erica. So uh, do you agree with Eric Erickson's comment that Donald Trump was implying Megyn Kelly was asking tough questions and was tough on Trump because she was hormonal? I think Megyn Kelly asked tough questions because she's Megyn Kelly. If you watch Megyn Kelly's show at any given night, she's a tough questioner. People go on her show understand that. Uh, but I think that the comments that were made, as, as uh, the package alluded to, were made late last night. I think Mr. Trump, uh, part of the, the reason that he gets the, uh, the popularity that he has is because he's not, by his own words, politically correct. But in what goes with that is he's got to be you know, clearly more careful with his words. I think there's no question he needs to immediately clarify uh, that comment. But do you, and do you renounce those comments then? Look, I know I, my job is not to renounce comments or not. I think he needs to clarify that. If he stands by them, that is highly inappropriate. I'm hoping that Mr. Trump, because he does speak off the cuff, because he doesn't ascribe to political correctness, was speaking in a, you know, in a way that wasn't fully thought out. But he needs to clarify that first thing this morning. At what point did these comments become damaging to the party as a whole, specifically when it comes to women and to minorities, two voting blocks that I know Republicans have been working really hard to recruit. Right. We have, uh, we've done really well in the last few years reaching out to young women, African Americans, Hispanics, going into communities that we've never gone before, really putting a lot of money and manpower into reaching out to communities around this country where, frankly, Republicans haven't been. It's something that Chairman Priebus has put uh, at the top of his list, and it's something that we're going to continue to do uh, as we go through this next cycle. So. You know, from a party perspective, it's definitely an area that we're very, very concerned with. It's an area that I think we're continuing to do better and better every cycle with, and that's what's going to propel us to victory in 2016. So from a party perspective, you are the communications director for, yeah. uh, for the RNC. At what point do you reach out to Mr. Trump? Well, we, we have private conversations with all the candidates and their staffs on an ongoing basis, and I think those con conversations will continue. I think you've noted before that Chairman Priebus has talked to Mr. Trump about his, about his tone. I mean, Mr. Trump's style is that he speaks off the cuff, that he is not someone that's run for office before. But, and while that might be part of his popularity, he does need to understand that he's seeking the presidency of the United States now, and that words do matter. And so while people may uh, have a problem with some folks who ascribe to totally political correctness, I think he needs to be much more understanding of the fact that every word that you say is being scrutinized at this point, and we need to be more careful on how, it's, uh, how, it, how it comes across to different demographics and different individuals across this country. Sean Spicer, appreciate your time. Thanks for being with us this morning. You bet. There has